So this evening at about 6, 11 p.m., uh, SAC PD patrol officers responded to the Arden Fair Mall here regarding a report of shots fired. When officers arrived on scene, they located two victims of the shooting. Uh, one victim was transported to a local hospital and was so far listed in critical condition. The other victim sustained life-threatening injuries and was pronounced deceased on scene by fire personnel. The suspect uh, fled the scene prior to officer's arrival. And uh, at this point, our homicide investigators and our crime scene investigators have taken over this investigation. Uh, they are on scene and they're gonna be processing this uh, entire area for evidence. There are obviously a lot of witnesses and they will be contacting those witnesses um, to, to uh, obtain statements about what happened. Um, and at this point, uh, we do know that there were some uh, reports of an active shooter. Um, we can confirm at this point that this does appear to be an isolated incident and not the result of an active shooter. Are there any questions at this point? Uh, as far as I know, the shooting scene is inside of the mall, so I don't have the exact specifications of where the uh, deceased is, but the shooting happened at, inside of the mall. Well, we do know that the, the mall does have a pretty robust surveillance footage, so that's going to be something that our homicide detectives are going to be uh, definitely looking at. We do want to know that anybody that has information about this uh, incident that occurred at the mall today to contact our detectives. Our detectives are very good at their job, and we know that they will be doing a very thorough investigation on this. Uh, we will be working, uh, doing everything that we can to identify the suspect or suspects who are involved in this incident and uh, make an arrest in this. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know about that specificness of it. I do know that there were a lot of people here. And we uh, did have officers that were working here as well um, as security and uh, were able to uh, help facilitate an evacuation of the mall. Um, um, we, that we know that this is, uh, you know, one of our biggest uh, hubs of commerce here in Sacramento. And it's one of the things, that, one of the places that we do know that we train uh, regularly with our local outside agencies to do have a response for that as well. So hopefully that we do have some of those witnesses that reach out to us. We do know that there were some people that were here and we, have, we are beginning to talk to those people. Um, but again, we do know that the mall has a very robust surveillance footage, so we, uh, we will be relying on that. But also, again, if anybody does have information regarding this, uh, we do want to speak with you and to contact our detectives uh, so that we can um, identify the people that are responsible, the suspect or suspects that are responsible for this. So I can't really go to specifics of what our plans are, but what I can tell you is, again, that we, this is a um, place that we train regularly with our outside agencies and our specialty units are very aware of what uh, the ins and outs of this mall and we do have those plans in place for if there was ever an active shooter at this place we are ready for that.